Hi. I'm here to give you a good idea of what life is like at the Cleveland Institute of Art, or CIA. Let's see, it's in a building, there are some decorative trees, the sun comes out sometimes. Anyway, this isn't like all those other college videos you've seen before, because CIA isn't like any other school you've ever seen. So, we're not going to be showing you a bunch of smiling kids with nicely combed hair saying, I like my school, it is great, because that sounds fake. Now, don't get me wrong, we do have plenty of students with nicely combed hair who smile and like it here, but they also come from all different backgrounds, from all over the world, Japan, California, Cleveland Heights, and whether they have tattoos and piercings or collared shirts and pressed pants, everyone here has a couple of things in common originality, and discovery. And they come here because CIA, like this pristine sheet of paper, is what you make of it. And what you make of it will be a career as a painter, or an industrial designer, as a hose, rolls, yeah, it's award-winning. Or in fabrics, ooh, silk, wow, interpretive. Or as a potter, or a biomedical artist? Ew. Jeweler? That's fabulous. You could always be a glass blower? Whoa, hot stuff coming through. A video game designer? Or a lamp? Oh, that's, uh, that's photography. My bad. But before the job, you need the major. At CIA, everyone starts with foundation classes. They cover design, visual arts, digital art technology, and cool stuff. This way you get to experiment with some of the majors before making a decision. So, at CIA, once you've discovered your talent, we give you room to grow it. No, really, you get your own private studio space to use however you choose. It's big, it's yours, and it's something you won't find at other colleges or even most art schools. Speaking of things you won't find at other schools, personal attention. There are only nine students for every professor, so it's easy to talk one-on-one, -on -one, and you'll call them by their first names. Troy, Kathy, Yanni. But seriously, they aren't those pretentious, leather-elbowed professor types on power trips who berate you for not being able to pronounce decollage right away. Or decou... Whatever. This next part might be a big selling point for your folks, because an education at CIA will prepare you for a real career, as in a real job, where you'll be paid real money for doing something you really love. Uh, how do we know this? Well, see this guy? His name is Dan Zimmerman. He works for Chrysler. Already designed two concept cars, 472 horsepower. Yeah, he's a CIA alum. And Jen Troush manages her own photography studio in Soho. She traveled around the eastern United States taking pictures for a collection on life in America. CIA alum. And then there's Jen Mellon, designed jewelry for celebrities out in LA with her favorite designer right after graduation. From CIA. Not bad. Now each one of these people, and thousands like them, decided to embrace and cultivate their amazing creative talents at CIA. Now, why? Because CIA is a pretty great place, and it's surrounded by some great places. Cleveland Museum of Art is next door. You could intern there. Art supply store is here. I could use some paint. Little Italy, great food, ravioli, etc. Cleveland Institute of Music, they rock. The classical scene. And if you're into backyard bands, the Barking Spider is a great hole-in-the-wall bar. Uh, gathering place with live music for when you're 21. So then this is University Circle, a mini multicultural center thing. And it's just minutes from downtown Cleveland, an honest, eclectic, real American city right on the shores of our little ocean, Lake Erie. Basically, there's inspiration everywhere you turn. So that's just the beginning of what's available at CIA, which, as we have discussed, is in a building, uh, there's some trees, the sun comes out sometimes, and I didn't mention this before, but it's also conveniently located near a road, which is perfect for driving on with a car to come and visit. 
Did we mention that we have hamburgers and vending machines? Not too sure if that's a selling point. We think it is. Anyway. So, now it's your turn. Take a good look at this blank sheet of paper, because it's reserved for you and your unbridled creativity, and it could be the starting point for an amazing journey. The only question we would ask is, what will you make of it?